it's the thought process for me. What, what, what blows my mind is so funny to me. There is you report a page. <laughs> I'm trying to. I'm trying to make it make sense. You report a page that don't have no followers, no likes at all. How? Why? What happened? What's bothering you? You need a therapist. You need a psychiatrist. Hold on. Let's see. You know, I could be a doctor. Mm -hmm. I could be a doctor. What you need help with? What areas in your life you need help with? I'll be sure to help you, but I charge. <laughs> it's the thought process for me. Huh? I make you become your best self vision of yourself. <laughs> hmm. Because it's just so bothered by me. And I just had to regroup. I'm like, hold on, wait. It's another, it's another message I have to say. Hold on, wait. I got another one. So you reported my page that don't have no followers or likes. <laughs> Woo. When I say bothered as a person, I need to show who you are. <laughs> Point them out. It's you. <laughs> Yo. It, 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 it's, it's, it's really, it, it's, it's hilarious to me. It really is hilarious to me because of the fact that you're so intimidated and, and bothered by me. <laughs> but let me tell you something. Regardless to numbers, views, or content that I put out, respectfully, I do this in real life. So in many videos I could put out, I could put out, I, I could put 60,000 videos out, 20,000 videos out, 2,000 videos out, but I'm going to always still be me. All the content I actually dish out, that's me. I don't got to fake to be somebody I'm not. But you do. <laughs> bothered. You're bothered by me. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> this is actually fun. <laughs> I ain't think it's going to be this fun. This is actually fun. See, when God puts you in position, it's just certain things that just happens within life within life and god shows you that hey you're gonna have haters i get it i totally understand it but dang bo are you serious what's up like you make it make sense you know what you could be doing instead of worried about me you can apply that same energy into yourself and finding you instead of trying to find me. <laughs> it's the thought process of it. You know, the search bar or however you do it. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, this is hilarious. This is, this, nah, this is hilarious. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> hmm. That's crazy. I'm far from miserable. That's a fact. <laughs> I'm far from miserable. And I ain't gotta wear a mask. <laughs> Yo. I guess it's like when you're real with yourself. People don't like that. And when you don't gotta lie to manipulate nobody. That's what people don't like you. Because I, you know what I realized lately? A lot of things been being exposed. For what it truly is. And at the end of the day, anything I, I ever did, I could speak on. You know, taking a candy bar from out of the store. <laughs> I can say I did that shit when I was a kid. Uh -huh. I did that shit and I don't give a fuck. Fuck you. <laughs> but it's the thought process for me. How an adult that knows they lame and knows how to take accountability for their action, right? So they say. They can take accountability for their action. So they say. But can't admit the fact of taking accountability action when they 
mistreat somebody or disrespect somebody or have malicious intentions or was quick to judge a book by its cover, you can't take accountability then. Because you was wrong about somebody. Because you was quick to judge somebody. It's a thought process for me. People quick to say they so real though. And it's so sad to see that individuals with kids move this way. It is like your role model. You're supposed to be a role model. Hmm. How you're a role model and you're antagonizing somebody. How you're a role in, 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 in an unhealthy way and they're not bothering you. And then you manipulate that person's character. And then you paint a description of, of that person that they, they truly not to talk about uh, talk about that person to others and only for them to realize at the end of the day, you was the haters whole entire time. It's a thought process to me. It really is. It's sad. It really is sad. To see overly a grown adults act their shoe size. Wait, I can't even say act their shoe size. Because you have children that your shoe size act more mature than you. So I can't even say that now. And, it's, and that's sad. How a child shoe size, that's you, has a higher IQ score than you. Has more common sense than you. Knows at the end of the day, hey, I'm not going to judge my neighbor about, they, about, about, about how they tie their shoe today. No, I got more common sense to that. I had more respect for myself. But then to see an adult that say that they're real and they're grown. Act immature. Because they're a hate in disguise and they don't know how to control themselves. They don't have self-discipline. They don't have self-awareness. So you continue to use your trauma and your pain as to why you can't show up for yourself to respect your neighbor? How? How? Unacceptable at the end of the day. That's extremely unacceptable. And I say that respectfully. Like I said, my page ain't for everybody. But it's the thought process for me. How you quick to say you're an adult, you're grown. Ah, ah, ah. But you don't know how to stay in your own lane, right? To have common sense, to respect your neighbor when they ain't bothering you. But you want to sit there and antagonize somebody. Only to realize you only played in your own face. Everybody's not the same. They're not. They're not. Regardless of your sexual orientation, your disability, your culture, or your religion. Everybody's not the same. You got the good and you got the bad. But you was with the judge. Because you was a hate in disguise. You don't like the fact that someone can, can have uh, self-love within themselves to understand to have self-awareness. To understand to have self-accountability. To have self-confidence. That's the word I was looking for, actually. Self-confidence. Because someone has self-confidence that you lack. You tried to unbalance them, but you can't. <laughs> it's the thought process to me. It wasn't an even exchange when it came to conversation with God. I say that respectfully. I hope you find peace in your own lane. It's a thought process to me. <laughs> God works in mysterious ways. God do. God works in mysterious ways. And God shows up when you least expect it. And I say that respectfully. My Heavenly Father and Mother do not play about me. My Heavenly Father God don't play about me. Mm -mm. And y'all gotta be careful too. Like, when y'all bother innocent people, be careful who you bothering. Because not everybody is supposed to be bothered. Like, when you pick at a, a bed... Be careful for the reaction you're going to get. That's like picking at a tiger and walking with a piece of meat and saying, hey, but you teasing it and don't want to give the meat to the tiger. What you think is going to happen to your silly having ass? 
Then you want to sit there and play victim. Oh, I didn't do that. I didn't antagonize that tiger. But then when the tiger attacks you in a way that you least expected, unexpectedly, you know, like your karma gets dished out the way you dish it out. It may not be how you dish it out, but it's going to get it. But you're going to get it. It's going to be dished out to you. Maybe 20 times worse. But it's a thought process to me. Oh, when you try to stop a child of God's work, you don't get luck from that. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Especially when you're dealing with a real child of God. <laughs> and I say that respectfully. The one who doesn't have Melissa's intentions. The one who doesn't disrespect their neighbor. The one who uplifts their neighbor. Good day and bad day, misunderstanding day. And I say that respectfully. It's the thought process for me. Because you're not used to somebody being real with you at the end of the day. That does not mean try to um, kick somebody down because you don't see their worth. Because you don't know your value. It's the thought process for me. It's really sad and disturbing to see adults go back and forth with each other. To bring harm towards each other. To disrespect each other in a way well, I'm imbalancing you. Because I don't like you. For no reason. That's too much energy you're dishing out. It is. It's too much energy. When you can be fond of you. You're so bothered by me. And then you're quick to say you're not. But how? How not? Oh, I get it. That's the conversation that you don't want to have face to face when it comes to being real. But you rather have that conversation behind closed doors with yourself because you can't face your own reality. It's a thought process for me. I don't understand why people just can't stay in their own lane. It's sad and disturbing to see that the enemy allows you to believe that this was the norm to, 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 to kick your neighbor down. And you become your own worst enemy. And then you sit there and play victim as to, you know what, I don't want to take accountability. Because they deserve it. They deserve to be disrespected. I've been working at this so long. They can't take my spot. Don't nobody want your spot. Nobody wants your spot. What spot? What spot are you even in? It's the thought process for me. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> it really be the thought process to me. We ain't out here playing football, basketball, tennis, hockey. What spot? What spot? What is your spot? What is your position at the end of the day? That's the problem with people playing these type of games, not realizing what they're coming up against. It ain't going to be an even exchange because I understood God's plan. It's the thought process for me. And then individuals want to use their trauma and their pain as to how they lash out. What? How old are you? What? <laughs> All right. Enough is enough now. How? No, for real, for real. How old are you? No, for real. How old are you? But you so real though, right? You, you real, right? It really be the thought process for me. It really do. It's sad and disturbing to see that people really have excuses because they trauma and they pain how they treat individuals. It really needs to stop. And I say that respectfully. Because you don't know what respect looks like. You want to disrespect your neighbor because of your trauma and your pain. What? But then you pick and choose who you want to respect and disrespect. And antagonize at the end of the day. Get in your lane. Because you out here just bothering innocent people. And, it, and, 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 it's, and it's, it's not looking good on your behalf. It's not. 
Misery loves company. The good God, because you watch me, watch me at the end of the day. The good God, right? The good God does not kick their neighbor down. And I say that respectfully. They don't start wars within their communities. They don't tag up on each other at the end of the day. When the good God got you in position. No. When the good God puts you in the room to do God's work. It's not to tell your people at the end of the day. Hurt this person, hurt that person. I'm going to hurt you. Because I don't like you. I don't want you to take my spot. I don't want you to take my money. <laughs> Yo. What you crying for? You okay? You need a diaper change? It's a thought process for me. Big ass telly tubby looking ass. <laughs> Not the cute one either. It's the thought process to me. Because when you start to cry at the end of the day, you start to analyze why. Once you start to self-reflect to find yourself, I shouldn't have did that that day. Hmm. Always get to play victim. Tears down your eyes. Looking for somebody to wipe your tears. All because you played in somebody's face. Looking for somebody to wipe your ass. Only to realize at the end of the day. You didn't even know how to take account of me for the last shit you took. It's a thought process for me. Bothering innocent people. Hmm. I said what I said. To make over a lot of people's heads. But I don't care. You made a mess. You disgusting. I said what I said. You ain't shit. You ain't. Because that's how you feel about yourself. You displayed that. You said you ain't shit. You said you not worthy. That's what you said. I didn't say it. You said it. You beating yourself up with your own words. Talk about you don't like yourself. You dislike yourself and all this toxic behavior. Because they gave up on you. They know how to respect you. They used you and all that. All right? Understand that temporary situation, you level up. That's the problem with people these days. You take that L, find yourself, level up, become your best self vision of yourself. They ask you how you do it. <laughs> I understood my plan. A temporary situation. That's why they can't keep up. It's a thought process to me. We are not the same. And I ain't in competition with you. And I say that respectfully. Once your position, nah, I'll pass. Because I could do whatever position you're talking about better than you anyway, any day of the week. <laughs> it's the thought process for me. you the type of person that would walk into a room and be so lost in space. I could walk into a room. Everybody's admiring me. Trying to figure out. Wait. Hold on. Wait. Where you been on my life? <laughs> That's how they truly feel about me. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> I need a nap. I do. It's the thought process for me. People just be antagonizing people, bothering people, and all that. Like, like somebody wants your spot. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. I have my own spot. God's put me in position. You feel me? It's something that you're not going to understand. <laughs> it's knowing yourself. What? <laughs> Oh, this is what bothers you. I get it. All right, hold on. 
my face hurts so hard. I think because, matter of fact, I just started thinking about somebody. I ain't even going to cap. I just started thinking about somebody. <laughs> um, <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> God works in mysterious ways. Mm -hmm. God shows himself too. It's sad. It really is sad. Because regardless to what season it is at the end of the day, when it comes to the weather forecast, something that you would never understand is being real with yourself. And that's why you're mad. <laughs> it's a thought process for me. And it's more disgusting to see that a man, yo, this, this be the funny part though. Like this really be the funny part. A man, you know, regardless of my sexual orientation in the day, I love myself. That's a fact. I, I love myself. <laughs> I love myself. But listen, it really be the thought process to me. How a man that say they a man, but you a little boy to me. Because if you could be intimidated by a female regardless of her sexual orientation at the end of the day, you're a little boy to me. And I say that respectfully. Because at the end of the day, the only thing that makes me different from you is that I'm a female that wear clothes, boy clothes, and you are a male. <laughs> I don't want to say it. I don't want to say it. I'm going to say something else. Okay. I'll be nice. I'll be nice. You just act like a little boy. I, that's not what I really wanted to say, but I had to say that. <laughs> With no home training. That's the difference. You ain't got no home training. <laughs> it don't matter how much money you have. It don't matter what kind of car you drive. It don't matter what roof you have over your head. It still wouldn't change that you're a little boy at heart. And you're a scary little boy at that. To even be intimidated by a female that's minding her business. It really be the thought process for me. I've been dealing with this all my life. But I realized at the end of the day, that battle wasn't mine's. It wasn't. Mm-mm. -mm. It was just somebody showing me at the end of the day that they're a little boy at heart and they scared. The fact that a female can come into their life temporary and show them a valuable lesson. What world looks like up close in person. Hmm. It's a thought process to me. I don't care who you are. Don't nobody put fear in my heart. And I say that respectfully. I've been on this little earth for so long. But for so long. But for a very long time. And y'all all like, not all, but majority all move the same. Weird. Especially when you are intimidated by a female. Any man that say they a man and is intimidated by a female, you are a little boy. That still wets the bed. Yep, I said it. <laughs> yep, I said it. You are. You scary. How you not scary at the end of the day? This is the difference between... This is, the, this is, this is what people don't, people don't understand. Somebody's sexual orientation, just because what they wear, they don't want to be a man. They just love how they feel on the inside and how they feel on the outside that they can be themselves. Something that you can't relate to. Is knowing your worth. It's comfortable to dress like this. What's wrong with people? Straight female dress like this when they feel like it. Good day, bad day, misunderstanding day. What's the problem? Oh, I get it. Because it's a, a dyke or lesbian or whatever the case may be. You could judge a book by its cover. Not everybody's the same and I say that respectfully. It's the thought process for me. It's sad that a person can really be intimidated by a female. A female. And you, you know what's so disgusting to see too? That a man, that city of man, they could be so antagonized. No, I'm saying the wrong word. 
No, I'm saying a right word. A man that can antagonize a female, right? That can antagonize a female, right? When she's not even paying him no mind. I think that's a personal problem. The person in the back, what you say? Yeah, I know, right? It's the thought process of me. Who raised you? It's like nowadays it don't matter about who raised you in the household. It don't. Because it don't take common sense to be a rocket scientist to have it. Just because someone didn't show you love or respect at the end of the day, don't mean that you can't install that within you. It's the thought process for me. Misery loves company. And this type of stuff happens every single day. How men are intimidated by females, regardless of their sexual orientation, their disability, their culture, or their religion. And I'm not racist. I'm not. And I'm not biased when it comes to sexual orientations at the end of the day. I am not. And I don't have Melissa's intentions. But come on now. For real, for real, you say you will. Sir, ma'am, whoever you are, you say you a leader. How you a leader at the end of the day? Who raised you? And it's not about who raised you at the end of the day. And I say that respectfully. Because some things in life we learn our own to find ourselves. Oh, I think that might go over a lot of people's heads when it comes to life and obstacles and challenges. That's why you're so bothered. Because why is that woman so strong? Why does that woman keep getting up when I keep trying to kick her down? She didn't disrespect me. She didn't antagonize me. She didn't even have no malicious intentions, but I want to kick her down. Because I'm self-unbalanced. Because I don't know how to respect myself. Let alone... I don't have the self-confidence that they had. I'm sorry, miss. I ain't mean to do that to you that day. I apologize. I know you may not forgive me because it was wrong what I did. I ain't have good intentions. That's how you take accountability for your actions. Regardless if someone's going to accept your apology or not. But you got to mean what you say. Say what you mean to be real with yourself. To self-reflect. It's a thought process for me. The most disturbing thing that I, I, you know, I saw a lot of disturbing things in my time. A lot. When it comes to females minding their business. Like, no, for real. Real life minding their business. And to see a man say that they a man disrespect a female is so unhealthy. It really is. It really is. Because why? How, how, how am I supposed to look at you like a leader and you don't even know how to respect women. Make it make sense at the end of the day. You hating on me because I tie my shoe differently. You hating on me because of the fact that I have self-respect for myself. You hating on me because I don't take accountability. You hating on me because I know how to have self-awareness. I know my self-worth. I have self-discipline. I have self-peace within myself. You're hating on me. But I'm supposed to be looking at you like a leader? How? How can I possibly look at you like, uh, how, how am I supposed to look at you like a leader and you don't even like females? You're against females. I don't respect you. And I'm entitled not to respect you because you showed me who you truly was when you antagonized my character. And allowed me to see who you truly was when you removed the mask. When it came to disrespect, manipulation, narcissist behavior. Antagonizing my character. And you ain't have good intentions. Or let alone try to bring harm towards me. No, that's an issue. You could talk all day long. Go ahead, talk. But when you have Melissa's intentions, now that's an issue. 
because you're a man. You supposedly say you're a man, but you're a scary little boy that puts his hands on females and then sits there and play victim and say, well, she said this to me. She told me to do the dishes. She told me to do that. She told me to go across the street. She told me to go pick up that bag right there. So I decided to slap the crap out of her. Because I didn't want to take orders from her. Something that probably was benefiting you. Something that probably was helping you in the long run. It's a thought process for me. <laughs> And it's sad to say, too, that females do it, too. You see how I say you got the good and you got the bad? Females do it, too. But it's the ones who hide their hands and, 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 and it's scary and hide behind a closed door and talk so much junk but won't say it in your face. Or they would get in your face and, and change the narrative as to, I didn't say that that day. Oh, I don't know what you're talking about. Sitting there playing victim. I heard what you said that day. But I'm going to play like I ain't hear you. That's how people start to label you crazy. Because when you heard what they said, they disrespected you. ain't have good intentions. They paint you out to be the bad guy because you checkmate them that day. When it came to being real. Because you had self-respect for yourself. To understand self-awareness. To understand your self-value. understand your worth. It's a thought process for me. <laughs> God works in mysterious ways, and I say that respectfully. I don't think you've been paying attention. Judgment Day is here. You know, if you say you're so real, you're an adult, adults move accordingly. Okay? Adults move accordingly. And I say that respectfully. Adults move like adults, not ch like, I can't even say like children because children nowadays have more common sense than these adults. Just like all children don't have common sense, all adults don't have common sense. It, 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 you gotta make it make sense, but it seems like nowadays the children got more common sense than adults. How is that? How? A child can see something not right. In the back of your head, you like, dang, I want to hurt somebody. And the child looking at you like, why would you want to do that? Why you got malicious intentions towards that person? They not even bothering you. And this is how the behavior start to pick up in households and, and around certain children at the end of the day. When they see certain individuals doing certain things like that. Bothering innocent people who's minding their business. Because you don't see somebody's worth and you don't understand somebody's path when it comes to them overcoming their obstacles, showing up for themselves and their challenging place when it comes to their journey at the end of the day. It ain't meant for you to understand. No, it's not meant for you to understand. Oh, they lying. They, they, they probably lying. Ah, ah. Lying about what? The only person lying is you because you can't self-reflect and be real with yourself. Everybody's not like you. That's the problem with people today. Because, the, the, because of who you are, you're putting that projection on an innocent person. And that's unhealthy. Because not everybody is the same. And I say that respectfully. Not everybody's like you. Not everybody's out to hurt somebody. Not everybody's miserable. Not everybody got malicious intentions. Not everybody disrespectful like you. So you can't paint that narrative on an innocent person and, and, and judge a book by its cover. Oh, they, they, they just like that. How, how dare you? It's a thought process for me. Regardless of your sexual orientation at the end of the day. Or your culture, your religion. It's the thought process for me. Like, leave innocent people alone. Like, it's just that simple. It's really simple. It's so simple. Somebody minding a business in their own lane. They mind their business. Real life. 
minding their business. It's no reason for you to antagonize them. What my rule is may not be what your rule is, but I still know how to respect you because you ain't got Melissa's intentions until I hear otherwise. It's the thought process because why I'm in my own lane, minding my business. I understood the even exchange. It's a thought process for me. That she wasn't supposed to be part of my lane. Because you ain't have good intentions. And I saw right through you that day. It really be the thought process for me. Leave innocent people alone. It's the thought process for me. Regardless of your sexual orientation, your disability, your culture, your religion. It's called respect, neighbor. It's called respect. Just because someone ties their shoe differently from you, and it ain't bothering you, leave them alone. Stop antagonizing people. Stop disrespecting people because you don't know your self-worth. Someone is not showing you that they have Melissa's intentions. Someone is showing you at the end of the day, like, hey, I'm not here to bother you. I'm not, I'm not, not, not bothering you, like... What happened? They mind their business in their own lane. Not everybody's the same. They're not. And that's the problem with society today. Everybody's thinking everybody's the same. And that's not right. It's not. It's unacceptable. It's unhealthy. But you quick to point out who's fake, but you can't point the finger at yourself. Because you don't understand what real looks like a person person. But you thought you saw what you saw, what you saw. You thought it was fake, but the whole entire time was real. You never needed to bring insurance. You used to hate in disguise. You see how they continue to multiply? It's a thought process for me. Now you genuinely love respect. 